I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. So I just found out that one of the sponsors at next week's Green Market Summit is going to be announcing a new product at the conference. This is going to be huge news. Now we still have some room left, but there is limited seating, so you want to get your tickets now before it's too late. Cureleaf announced this week that it was acquiring Cura Partners, known for their select brand, in an all-stock deal valued at $948 million. Now, Select's THC products are sold in more than 900 retailers, and it is the leading cannabis brand in key Western states. The combination of these two companies is going to help Cureleaf get a leg up on the West Coast due to Select's brand strength out there. Canopy Growth had another busy week. It acquired the German synthetic cannabis company called C3 for $250 million. Now, I know this sounds a little odd for a company that prides itself on its cannabis plants to buy a synthetic company, but really it's buying an entry into the German market and getting that distribution. Canopy also gave an update on its New York State hemp plans in which the company plans to begin hiring later this year. CanTrust priced its previously announced public offering of 36 million shares at 550 per share. The company, though, is only selling 30 million shares for a total gross proceeds of about $170 million. Ianthus raised $25 million selling convertible notes. Cushco Holdings announced that it entered into an agreement with an institutional investor for a private placement of $21.3 million. And we have a lot of earnings to go over this week, so we're just going to skim through them pretty quickly. Suniva reported its 2018 results, and the company had $18.8 million in revenue versus 2017's $16.1 million. Golden Leaf reported that in 2018, their full year revenue was $16.5 million. That was up 43% from 11.5 million in 2017. Plus Products reported that its 2018 revenue went to $8.4 million. That was an increase of 681%. Indus Holdings began trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange this week using the symbol INDS. And finally, the root of it's all products have hit the shelves in Colorado's native roots dispensaries. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Porchart reporting for the Green Market Report.